I do actually like the uh, colour scheme back here. They've done a really, uh, really sweet job. The yeah. beautiful Emma, you're from all the way from Cork, <laughs> just to tell us about this uh, wonderful, wonderful idea. Uh, I, I think music definitely has changed. It's um, for young bands. It's, it's no longer a case of well, I can I can get a record deal and I'm, I'll go out there and and, and you know and people would promote me. It's yeah. about going out and meeting people. It's about giving an experience rather than just trying to provide like product. You you recognise that along with a, a bunch of uh, friends and I've put on this amazing tour called Three Wheel Tour. Tour, yeah. You've got three artists. They've got three singles out uh, 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 around the tour. We're going to do 28 shows. The second show will be here in the beautiful Happy Pair on March 4th, Saturday. So tell me, uh, what would people expect when they come along? What, what are they going to uh, get? Okay, uh, they're going to get. So basically, the whole idea with the tour is that instead of the guys, uh, Paul and Ian were touring. I'll just give you a bit of background information. Sure. Uh, so Paul and Ian were touring Germany together, and they did a series of house shows and. Um, and different like intimate kind of spaces like cafes and like libraries and bookshops and stuff and when they were on the plane on the way back uh paul was messing with ian saying jesus we're all releasing singles myself yourself and our friend paula uh right. in march we're all going to be in competition with each other and then after a few minutes they were like well why don't we actually come together and instead of going off getting different bands why don't we actually just tour together with this and play on each other's music and let's let's share the stage with this one um, and from the kind of from doing the house shows and the intimate kind of settings in Germany, it kind of um, they just got that's where the kind of idea came about to, to try it in more like settings like the Happy Pair and quieter, more intimate kind of spaces where you can really connect with your audience. Um, and I, I met the lads then at a gig in the Fusion Cafe back in Wexford, and it was just so simple. Uh, everything was kind of everything was just stripped back it was just a few different artists paula paul crane yeah. the man whom ian doyle uh, right. another group baskerville two butters and dan comerford as well um, well we should mention now that, that these these guys are are, are are artists who've had like experience i know with paula cox when she was 14 she signed with epic with her band yeah. so i mean she, she knows how how the both sides of the business work that the yeah. sort of major label side and then which is yeah. a kind of a you know it's a difficult dying kind of breed for young bands to, to go that route so this recognition that 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 you know music is still a huge part of people's lives and they just consume it differently now it's, yeah. it's free online generally so the the live thing has become again like the 1950s the early days of rock and roll the live thing is where people really connect to a band and, and get yeah. to, to, to get to know them so so in the case of of, of uh, now the company we should say or uh, we, we set up a name for all of this merrick kindy and uh, you did tell me what the what, where the name comes from it's a good name uh so it comes from two words uh, Meraki is a Greek word for it means um, love, soul, and creativity, and it means to leave an essence of yourself in your work. And then indie comes from independent, so I just kind of fuse the two together, and that's my kind of ethos with everything I do. And everybody I work with is kind of the same, uh, which is really, really, really lovely position nice. to be in. Uh, it's yeah. really, really cool. Um, so yeah, uh, that's what, like what you're saying with the, you know, how people are consuming music is difficult are different so it's difficult for artists you know to without the backing of a major label now you know without like how are they going to make money through touring like like that's where it's at really um and you know you kind of have the same circuit that kind of musicians go to and it, you can only kind of do that two or three times a year because Ireland is so small so this is kind of another way to explore new opportunities for artists and also it's actually kind of creating new um avenues for businesses as well that mightn't actually tap into these to these kind of people these kind of audiences and Merak Indy is all about bringing together <laughs> uh, food and music um, so it's really nice for me to be in a position to fuse my two passions um, well God knows the happy pair need help because you know, they're, they're, they've been very 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 poorly marketed and, and uh, a lot of people just don't know they exist here so I just want to say thank you for bringing Bringing your band here to highlight the fact that the Happy Pair exists because I don't know Grey Zones. We, we've been embarrassed by the fact you know that just nobody likes them. Nobody's nobody's coming here. It just <laughs> seems like a such a dead dead space. But that idea too of of, of um you know the, the of the of the kind of independence that you're really bringing to everything about this. Yeah. It, you know that 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 hope then I guess would be that that everybody you know does the same amount of work and everybody benefits the same amount when when, yeah. when anything goes well when when you get those sort of uh, tours like this 28 day tour when the singles are out there that that uh it is a true kind of democracy it's not like well we're we're basically hoping that a label somewhere will, will be good to us down yeah. the road have you got a have you got a sense that 
this is pretty much going to be the norm for a lot of bands because there is a there's a culture now as I said music's free online and, and people are happy to put their music out for free even Radiohead you know yeah. right down to the smallest indie band it does seem like you, it, it has to be about the uh, the live uh, gig now as much yeah. as anything else just to get a connection um, I think like any band I've talked to like pretty much any, everybody who's a musician loves live performance more than anything right. um, and this has given them another opportunity to to do it more times in new spaces more intimate settings and we're still doing the usual some of the usual venues like Connolly's of Leck which is mm. an amazing venue I don't know if you're yeah yeah you know yeah um, and serious art center the more kind of bigger spaces as well um, we're doing that and the, the smaller ones so I suppose I don't know like we, we're definitely gonna want to do this again like right. we love the the positive reaction like that we're getting from the happy pair who've never done this thing before but they're so open to it sure you know sure. and their ethos is kind of very it's, it's just kind of like we like what they do um, yeah. and it's all about healthy living and stuff and again it's like moving away from the pubby atmosphere where it's all about the drinking and and now this is kind of a little bit different I mean no, given that you're, you're kind of combining food and music, if the yeah. bands aren't good, are people allowed to throw food at the bands? Is, that, is that how it works? Absolutely. Any preference? Like tomato? No meat, obviously. <laughs> because it's tomatoes might be good. Tomatoes is yeah, kind of traditional, really. Yeah. <laughs> well, we put all the links in to um, to, to uh, explore the three bands. I, I, I would uh, encourage everybody to come down on, on, on Saturday, March uh, 4th, because it is a, a unique kind of a night. And I think um, people are very, very keen to... to um, interact with, with art in, in, a, in a much more kind of you know yeah. kind of direct way and I think the live gig is, is one of those sort of uh, perfect kind of moments where yeah. it just becomes something else it, it, the room becomes something and, and the people being in the room with the band creates a different kind of atmosphere yeah. it wouldn't be necessarily the same as last night or the night after and uh, that can be a uh, pretty wild and uh, wonderful but yeah. as I said if they're not good we will throw food that's just a, a great stone tradition Some pears, I saw yeah. <laughs>